This is the University of Pretoria online application system where you will be filling in your application to study at the University of Pretoria. Before you start you need to prepare three documents. Firstly, make a copy of your ID document, make a copy of your final grade 11 marks and if you are not going to pay with a credit card you need to make a copy of your bank payment. Save it all in PDF. If you do not have a scanner, it's not a problem. You just find in your app store an app called Cam Scanner. Take photos of your documents, share it to your mail. It will be in the correct format. If your documents are not in the correct format, the system won't upload it. On the payment step, you will get the banking details. So let's start with the code. Click on create. You can read the disclaimer. And then we start with the application details. In this case, we are going to do the undergraduate application. You choose your starting year of studies. Click on OK. This is the confirmation of your login details. Please read it carefully. If you make a mistake on this page, you won't be able to correct it. Click on Continue. The system is telling you that an email has been successfully sent to your email address. Open your email. You will find an email from the University of Pretoria. Write down your application ID number, starting with a T. Copy your temporary password. Click on the link, which will take you back where you started. Important, do not go to the right hand side. Click on Authenticate. Type in your email address, your application ID number, paste your temporary password, click on OK. Now the system is asking you to create your own password. This is now your new password, which will take you to the application summary page, which is the starting page of your official form. To open your form, you need to click on Edit. So this is your full form. On your right hand side, you have 14 steps. None of them have been started. You will click on Next after each page. You can save on a regular basis or you can move from step to step. So let's start with step one. Would be your personal information. You can save. You can move on to the next page. That will be your contact details. Select your city. Click on search, find your area code, it will automatically type in your city and the code. Save. We can move on to step 3, which will be your demographic details. And then your main activity, if you're currently in matric, you will choose grade 12 learner. Then we move on to the disability summary. If you wish to read more about the disability unit and you wish the university to assist you in any way, you will find all the details here. Save again. Move on to the next page, step four. If you wish to apply for financial assistance, you have two options. NISFAS, it's the government bursary scheme, and then the UP financial aid scheme. 
If you click on the links, you can find all the details. Save. We move on to step five, emergency contacts. Save. Tertiary education. If you come from another university, this is where you need to say yes. Give us the details of your university where you are currently studying. But if you are in your final school year, you will answer no. Step 7. Your sport accomplishments. If you have achieved sport qualifications. If you didn't do any sport, you just say no. You can save this page, move on to next. You need to select your school. If you are not in a South African school, you need to choose non-NSC. In this case, we're going to choose National Senior Certificate. If it wants the highest grade completed, it will obviously be your grade 11, if you are currently in matric. If you already have your exam number, you can type it in. This is not an essential field. Currently, you might be in grade 12, or you might perhaps be repeating your grade 12. It's important to give your final grade 11 marks. So we start entering all your school subjects in the order that they are appearing on your school report. Lastly, we need life orientation. Some faculties do look at that. We can save. Then we need to move on where you choose your preferred field of study. Note all our official closing dates. So in this case we're going to do engineering. And in this case, which we only use as an example, the system is rejecting your choice of study because you do not fulfill the minimum admission requirements. You need to go and read on our website about our admission requirements. When you get this, you need to go back and try something else. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to change the marks. We can try again for engineering. We select engineering. You can choose a second choice if you wish to. It's not compulsory. Save your choices. Move on to your documentation page. You choose the file, you upload it, and you move on to the next page. The declaration, firstly the information contained in this document is in all respects correct and true. There is no legal obligation on the university to accept you as a student and if the university accepts you 
You will only be admitted as a student if you fully comply with all the regulations and requirements of the university. You also acknowledge that you haven't finished your form yet. You still have to do the last steps. You need to have a changing status here before you will be finished. And now you need to verify your form. So we click on verify. There's no error. Move on to the next. If you wish to pay with a credit card, you will be choosing the first option. To pay with a credit card, you need to have 3D security, which means that you need to have a one-time password sent to your cell phone before you will be able to have a valid transaction. Otherwise, you choose the second option where you upload proof of payment. You use your T number as your reference. So we're going to upload the proof of payment. Open it. So this is your final step. You have completed your application. Once you click on continue, your form will be submitted. Application successfully applied. If you now return to your summary page, you will have a status that you applied. No more changes can be done. You can still click on view, which will show you your full form. All validated, paid, applied. And now you need to wait anything from 5 to 15 days and you will receive a reply from the university giving you an official student number so keep on watching your emails and if you hear nothing from us please phone our call center so this has now been done and you have officially completed your form to study at the University of Pretoria and good luck with your studies.